<laughs> Why not? Hey, Facebook, how are you? It's Lori Hoy here from Full Fit Life. Hi, I'm Dr. Vaughn Schaefer from Fresh Start Chiropractic. I'm glad I just let you say that now because I was yeah, not saying it correctly. He says it wrong a lot. <laughs> and I welcome you today on this. Oh, it's kind of chilly here in Pennsylvania. Yeah. I don't know where it's like where you are. It was like 40 degrees. I, I'm a teacher, if you haven't followed me. And I recessed duty today and I thought I was dressed warm enough. Mm -hmm. I didn't know where these eight, nine, 10, 11 year old kids running around with shorts and t-shirts and their jacket was laying in the grass. And okay, I'm a mom, so I'm like, put your coat on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so anyway, we are here today to talk to you about grains and yeah. why you might want to tame them. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're always, they're, you know, we all know it's a big part of the food pyramid. The food pyramid says you're supposed to have, what, six to 11 servings it's, of grains? It's crazy. Like whole grains a day. Don't even, don't even look at the food pyramid yeah. anymore. And don't even, and, and they have the new thing, it's called My Plate. And that still isn't quite... Not right either. No. <laughs> it's better than the food pyramid. But, I mean, if you could, we could rearrange some things in the food pyramid, it'd probably work. But, right. Yeah. As you know, Lori and I haven't eaten grains in... I don't know how long, a long time. And it, and she's, she's better at it than I am. <laughs> maybe once a month I have grains. Maybe, maybe well, me, not in three years. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but we're still alive and kicking and very darn healthy. So we are living mm -hmm. proof that it's caught that you're pop, you're able to eat other things and get better nutrition mm -hmm. from things other than grains. Right. right. So what, it, what, so let's talk first about then what are grains? What, what umbrella can, well, we think encompass. about grains are anything, um, of course, you always think about wheat. Wheat is the, the number one thing that we think about. But there's barley, oats, corn, and rice are grains. And corn! I know, oh no, we can't live without our <laughs> corn. Uh, and one thing that isn't really a true grain, but we, we some of it in this category is quinoa, which is that neat stuff that everybody thinks is really healthy, but it acts in our body like a grain. So um, all those kinds of things, whether it's gluten or non-gluten, grains are not the greatest thing for but, our bodies. But we love them. We all love them. You know why? Because yeah. they're addicting. Yeah. They go, they're just like opiates in hmm. your brain. When you eat a grain, it, it goes to your brain and it is, it's addictive. Grain brain. Grain brain, literally. So yeah, I, I can tell you if I eat a fresh piece of Italian bread, yeah, I'm like, then you want to eat the whole yeah, loaf. and then I want to eat the whole And I used to. Like, I'm serious. Like, I know. You're probably looking at me going, no, you didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> My husband and I, we'd, get, we'd have spaghetti. It was like our one meal of the week that we had every week. And I would go to the grocery store, and I would get a fresh loaf of Italian bread, fresh baked bread that I thought was healthy. <laughs> I wish I had really big ones. <laughs> oh, that so doesn't wait, sound right. So wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Quotation marks. Quotation marks. Well, I still, well, whatever. <laughs> so wait, you ate an entire loaf of bread and a plate of spaghetti. And not a serving of spaghetti, mind yeah. you. serving. Okay, so I'm Italian. That's that's my lineage, part, lineage. So that's what I grew up eating. Spaghetti, lasagna, shells, manicotti. Mm -hmm. Love all that. But now my body does not love all that. So Exactly. Yeah, so anyway. So yeah, like we think about grains, that what they're not only addictive, but they're they're actually mostly carbohydrate. So when you eat them, your mm -hmm. body turns them right into that S word that is the swear word of the season, which is mm. well, it's getting to be cold. So which S -word <laughs> sugar. Oh, sugar, good point. <laughs> hey Ruth, hey Nicole. Yeah, so yeah, you turn so it right it's into sugar. sugar. I was thinking, I don't want to say it because then it'll come. Mm. Anyway. And, and not to mention that they, uh, they, uh, they uh, yeah, mm -hmm. contain gluten, which we all know is the bad word too. So, but we'll talk about all that too. So. Okay. All right. So basically then when I eat a grain, whether it be wheat or oatmeal or whatever it be, then my body is heightened of, Hey, I'm feeling good now that just, so what happens when that effect wears off? Then you crash, right? Okay. And it's just like a sugar crash. Mm -hmm. It's just, it, it, cause when your body uh, converts the carbohydrates in the grains to sugar, it's all it is, it's just sugar. So your blood sugar spikes and then all of a sudden you crash mm -hmm. and you want more. And you're like, I'm hungry, I need more food. I need, And so that's the number one problem with why we eat so much. And, and, and when you're supposed to eat six to 11 servings a day, I mean, that takes up, 
the majority of our wow. plate nowadays is carbohydrates. Mm-hmm. Like, and and she's not she's not wrong. Like, how many of us sit down to a uh, an Italian meal mm-hmm. and eat nothing but pasta and, and bread mm-hmm. and all that is is carbs. And we're not bashing Italians, believe me. That's not the point. That's not the point. It's, it's to educate you to, to if you're feeling certain things and and um, symptoms that we're, we're to- I can't talk today. And Ruth, who's on, she knows I, I wasn't having a very good day. I call it a carb coma. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Um, and so now I've lost my train of thought, but it'll come back around. I promise. We're talking Italian and Italian food. food um, and yeah, we're not trying to bash them, mm-hmm. but um, oh, I also this is also what I would do. I would get up in the morning, and I of course I have seven million things that I try to do between the time I wake up and to the time I walk out the door. And I didn't really eat a nice balanced breakfast. I would grab a Thomas English muffin. Or a piece of bread. Oh, 12 grain, though, because that was healthy. Oh, yeah, that's healthy. Okay, 12 grain bread. <laughs> Grains. Okay, 12 of different, whatever. And I'd have a sandwich for lunch, and then I'd have my Italian meal for dinner. And so I, I didn't know I was eating all of these carbs. Yeah, so here's what happens. I'm going to give you a little tiny biology lesson, and I'm sure a lot of you have heard this terminology before, but there's something called leaky gut. And that is what happens when we eat grains. What happens? Two things happen. One, the gluten is um, bad for our gut, but so is the fact that it breaks down into a sugar. So the long story short, not only does it break down into a sugar, which imbalances the, the bacteria in our gut, and that helps to actually break down our gut lining. So those bad proteins, that is the gluten that's in, mm-hmm. that's it. There's, there's non-gluten grains and there's gluten grains. So gluten is the bad one and the, the one that we all know about. But non-gluten grains have the same kind of bad things, they just have different names, but they're similar to gluten and they do the same thing. So what happens is when we eat an, um, an overabundance of sugar and mm-hmm. carbohydrates and, and grains um, and it breaks down our gut, um, all of that, those bad things can get into our bloodstream. And that's the bad thing that happens in our body. What that hap- when that stuff gets out into the rest of our body throughout our whole bloodstream, um, those little proteins, our body attacks them. And that's when um, this thing that we always talk about, which is inflammation, that's mm-hmm. where inflammation comes from. Mm-hmm. So the more of that stuff that we eat and the more that it gets into our bloodstream, because most people have some kind of a gut breakdown. You don't right. have to have an official diagnosis. Right. It's becoming more common that you know that this is happening in your gut. So when that stuff gets into your bloodstream and your body is attacking it every single day, that's where inflammation comes from. And long story short, inflammation leads to any slew of different diseases and problems that we see in a lot of people nowadays. Anything from asthma and allergies to our chronic joint pains and our headaches. Eczema. Uh, Yep, skin conditions, eczema, psoriasis, even acne. Um, And then, of course, autoimmune diseases that everybody um, thinks about nowadays. Mm -hmm. Well, celiac is the true allergen. That's when you're truly allergic to gluten. But um, you don't have to have just that. I mean, it can lead to Crohn's disease and and, uh, MS and lupus and and things like that. So inflammation is, I mean, you think about it. You eat the the grains and the sugars that break down your gut that leads to inflammation. And then it's just uh, everything. Yeah, that's your two-minute version of mm-hmm. something that I could spend an hour talking right. about. Right, but <laughs> she's got first-hand experience. So for those of you that haven't, you know, if you're just popping in for the first time and catching this Wellness Wednesday, because I did invite my um, Instagram followers to come on over and see, you know, chime in. So if they've not, they don't know who you are or your story, oh. um, she suffered from Crohn's disease and cured herself with food. 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 The right food. So, yeah. Exactly. So, so, I'm not trying to steal the story, but I just wanted to pop in there and say that because I'm hoping that some of those people are here as well. But, um, so anyway, so are there any safe grains out there, in your opinion? In my opinion, no. I've heard different, <laughs> I've heard different theories on grains. Right. For the most part, even if it says whole grain. Mm-hmm. So, that's the... That's new. You go to the grocery store. Okay, so I want to give you a a tour of the grocery store. Okay, when I go to the grocery store, it takes me about, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes, if that. It used to take me an hour because I go to the produce, to the meat section. I don't even go over to the dairy. We already covered dairy, and I'm pretty much out. That's it. I don't go inside, maybe for some detergents and stuff like that, maybe, but I don't go in oil, coconut oil, yeah, oils, oils. those kinds of things, but that's it, but the the big rage was now, okay, cereal's healthy now because it says it has that stamp of 
100% whole grain. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so confusing. Hey, Meredith. Hi, Aunt Sandy. <laughs> How are you? So anyway, I'm sorry, I got sidetracked by people popping on, but tell us you're here. Say something. Yeah. Okay. Um, I had a poem. I had a thought, and mm -hmm. I lost it when I was touring the grocery store a second ago. Well, let's okay. Talk, well, let's, okay, so here's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about, everybody talks about whole grains mm -hmm. now, because we all kind of know, even though we still eat them, we kind of know that the white stuff, the white flour, the white pasta, we know that's bad for us. Um, and can, then we can think. I, can I stop you a minute? Sorry, yeah. I don't want to... Why is the white bad for us? <laughs> white is bad for us because that is a very, very processed grain. It's called, that's a refined grain. So what have they done? They've taken any amount of nutrient and mineral that could possibly be good in grains and they've sucked it out, mm -hmm. bleached everything that's left. Deodorize and then they, it. Then, yeah, deodor, yeah, you don't want to know what they do with this stuff. Um, that's crazy. But then they... They fortify it and they mm -hmm. put some extra vitamins, minerals, minerals they back in. They put it back in that aren't they're not natural. Yeah, and they're not right. natural and they're not ready to. They're not able for you to use. So, um, so that's. I was listening to a podcast the other day and that guy actually said, you know, they say um, when they talk about the food pyramid, talking about whole grains, mm -hmm. they actually what they're referring to is switch from refined white grains to whole grains. Okay. So he said all that did was let, let you have less diabetes and less heart disease and less less weight gain. Not less weight loss, but less weight gain um, just because you're eating the whole grain version rather than the white version. So yes, yeah, so there's refined grains, which let's just not even go there because they're just crap. Right. But even if you think you're eating healthy and you're eating the whole grains, that's where you actually get the whole seed. Because remember, a, gra you're, a grain is a, the, the seed of a grass. And mm -hmm. so the seed has two different, three different parts to it. And... Um, but most of it is still carbohydrate, but there's some good vitamins and minerals in there. But here's the catch. There's actually something called anti-nutrients in a grain. So when you're eating yeah. your grains anti, and you think you're getting vitamins and minerals and fibers and fiber, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, you are, but there are other, other things in there that actually block you from absorbing it. So you're not eating it and you're not getting the, the good honest nutrition that you could be so it's they're not the greatest even when you think that you're eating well um so there and this guy that i was listening to also said there's nothing you can't get from fruits and vegetables that you can that you need to get from a grain grains give you more um calories and less nutrition so why not get what you need out of fruits and vegetables fiber vitamins minerals right. and be able to use those things and they're just okay so I'm gonna ask you a question and, and you may not have, have researched it or heard anything but I'm just kind of put it out there you know, no I'm sorry but <laughs> I also listen to podcasts but there was another there was another one that I was listening to and I, I wish I could remember where it was it was probably Sean Stevenson on the model health show because I listen to him almost every day and I'm like waiting for a new episode of his um, although if you haven't caught today's episode or it may have been yesterday's he's interviewing Sean T what oh. a story! I didn't even I didn't even know his oh. story. But anyway, sorry, that's, I digress there for a minute. T twenty five guy and saying guy. That's John T. Um, that they were talking about civilizations that have always eaten grains and don't have the issues that Americans have, like the Asian cultures that eat white rice versus brown rice, and they don't have the same issues. So what what would you? I mean, in your professional opinion and your experience because you've gone through all of this, what would make that different? Well, I, I, he I heard that too in something I was listening to. And, you know, there's all, always a hundred other factors in it. Right. Um, what is their lifestyle like? Um, mm -hmm. no, no, I feel like, not that I'm bashing Americans, but I feel like we're more sedentary than any other population. And what else are we eating? I mean, we have, like, I'm sure they aren't eating just white rice. Right. We are eating white rice and white bread and white pasta and white and cookies and crackers and, and I mean and it's, a breakfast could be cereal and toast and what is that grains and grains yeah and so there's there are other factors that go into it but um but yeah the with us I, I think that our food is more processed than any other food right. in right. The, the world so so there's the big difference yeah it's we have done we have we meaning our country I don't mean <laughs> This, these two people here, <laughs> yeah. but our country has taken the food and it's changed it. It's not really food anymore. And I think it was Dr. Hyman who called it Franken food. Mm, I yeah. love that because yep. they've created food 
and that has all these grains in them, like the whole grain cereals. Um, I'm trying to think something else real quickly. Or oh, just any of the snack chips or crackers and things like that. That it's not really, it's really all processed, really highly processed grains. Absolutely. So, and remember, and they sneak grains into the, like wheat. They mm -hmm. because remember I talked, they're mm -hmm. they're addictive. Mm -hmm. Food companies aren't dumb. So if they can sneak some kind of a a gluten or a wheat into a food, not only is it sticky because it helps things stick together right. to begin with. Right. Um. So that's a that's why they add it to things that you wouldn't even think sometimes, but it it. it makes you eat more of their food so right. hmm, they make more money let's think about that right. and i know that her being a teacher i know she's looked at some kids lunches sometimes and she just sees grain and grain and carbohydrate and sugar and it's so it's coming that live is coming i'm gonna <laughs> it was supposed to be last night i, I have a, last night. i have an expert that's coming and she's a mom and she's a mom who i know we're getting a little off topic but it's okay because we do that She's a mom that has two kids, two two school age kids that she makes them not makes them eat. They eat it because they like it, and it's the food that's healthy for them. I don't want to give too much away, but I, it's coming. It's coming tomorrow. I'm I'm sure. It's, I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow. It might even be later tonight. I have to check with her though. But she's an expert, and so I want I want you to meet her, and I want you to you know parents out there to listen to what she has to say. But anyway, we're gonna get back. But that being topic. said, just to, just to keep going on that, like the kids that have mood disorders, ADHD, like those kinds of things, when they, when, if they could just, if we could teach the parents to, to that they're not wrong by thinking what they're mm -hmm. feeding their child is, is healthy. Right. But if we could just teach them that, um, if we could change a little bit about what they put in their kid, a lot of times uh, those things calm down and you don't mm -hmm. need the, the, the medication we're looking for Ritalin, Ritalin like and that kind all of the stuff. other things. Yeah, Be, and there's uh, a lot of stuff because we're just feeding our kids things that we don't even realize is bad are, are bad for them. And we're not saying that they don't suffer from these these I don't even know I don't want to say illness but these afflictions or whatever. But there, I mean, I think there's just other ways of figuring it out before we all automatically with anything though before we automatically give medication that we should investigate. Guys, my battery's getting low, but we're hoping. We're hoping it's going to stay. Um, that, you know, that we try nutrition as a, as the first healer. And yes, there is, there are times where we do need some medication right. for these things, but. But we're not helping them with what no, we're feeding them. That's no, all I can say. No, yeah. So, nutrition. So, anyway, let's go back to these. There are two books that actually explain this kind of stuff. There's Wheat Belly and there's something called Gray Brain. They're two different authors. Wheat Belly is by William Davis. He's a medical mm -hmm. doctor. Mm -hmm. And so is David Perlmutter. Mm -hmm. He's, he did Grain Brain. So it talks about this connection between what we're feeding ourselves and how it not only affects our whole physical body, but this one was actually talking about how there is a, a connection between your gut and your brain mm -hmm. and how it can cause things like mm -hmm. Alzheimer's and, um, and the, the, the mood disorders and things like that. So um, we're not nuts. We really do some research on this stuff while we tell you guys these things. Well, she can say that for herself. I'm a little crazy. Even my students think I'm a little crazy. So I don't know. I don't think there's anything else that, that we... No, do you guys have any questions about grains? I mean, I guess it, the other thing to think about is it's not only just the grain. They're also adding in added sweeteners. Oh, yeah. So you've got this... this funky concoction of Franken foods that, and I know, I mean, there are a lot of busy moms out there, busy, busy dads, and it just seems to be the easy thing to do. I can't wait to do this other live, I'm telling you. But that's I'm my, so, <laughs> and it's not your fault. That's the first thing we want to say. It isn't your fault. I'm a mom, okay? I did some of these similar things. No grains at all. Mm, no. 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 <laughs> Um, I mean, like I said, I I do maybe once in a while. I because I love bread. It's just that you know, addicted. It's one of my things. I will every once in a while. But I just had a hamburger the other night, and I know, yeah, I eat a hamburger. People, I eat hamburgers, and my bun <laughs> was portobello mushroom cups. Oh, awesome! Love that. That's like my favorite. And then I think another the other night we had I don't remember what it was, and I used butter lettuce the first time. It was pretty good. Mm. And it was so good, and um, I didn't get the crash, I didn't get the cravings, I didn't get any of that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, no grains. What is, I almost do not even know what to eat without a form of grain. Well, it's because we're so used to it. I mean, 
cereal was super easy. I remember when cereal came out. I mean, yeah, I was around. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, and maybe when they first created like shredded wheat, it may have been different then. Right. Like well, first, and probably not. Yeah, not a whole it's lot. It's probably not as bad as it was. It is now for us. But you're yeah. right. I mean, a lot of what we eat is centered around grains. It's crazy. Yeah. But you can survive without them. You, and like Dr. Fawn said, you can, you're actually, well, this is one of the things that I talked about with someone. I don't even know who it was. I think it was last night when I was here getting my massage that you guys need to come and check out Liz Webb. She's a great massage therapist. Um, we were talking about, um, oh, gee, I, I feel like I have grain brain right now. <laughs> grain, not how, how to change your lifestyle. It's gone. Okay, she'll think about it, but I'll tell you this. Like I said, remember, so good. I mean, I know you don't know my whole story here, right. but I, I was the same way. Mm -hmm. I loved pizza. I loved mm -hmm. french fries. I loved, I, I live, McDonald's is literally almost next door to my office. Like, I get it, and it's hard to to change your habits, but mm -hmm. once you do, it's it's totally doable. That's what it is. Well, you didn't you don't even know that you're feeling bad until you feel really good. Absolutely, not eating these foods. Yeah, I mean that's that's the truth of the matter, and I've said this to several people through this process. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm 48. I mean, and I I've, I've never felt better in my life, even when I was in my 20s and 30s. I can't remember feeling this good. Now, yes, I have some right now. I have some issues that I'm seeing Dr. Fine for, but um, I didn't even care before. If I would have an ache or pain, I'm just like, ah, oh, it's just that. What well, isn't? It has to do with what I'm eating. And when I know I've had grains, and I have once in a while slip, she's so good. She's so good. <laughs> so good. Um, and you know, I just, I just try to be better the next day. Right. So I mean, but. And nobody's yeah. perfect. Like right. I said, I mean, I, I mean, it doesn't kill me yeah. if I eat it, but right. it, I don't feel well. And I do want to, so let me, okay, there's a couple things I want to say. First of all, let's talk for just one second. I, I mentioned celiac disease, mm -hmm. which is, oh, yeah. when you mm -hmm. go to the doctor, you get a blood test and they say, you are allergic to gluten, you should not eat wheat. Okay, that's 2% of the population, something like that. The other thing that you can get a blood test for is gluten sensitivity. Now, again, if you go to the mm -hmm. doctor and they say, oh, the blood test says you're not sensitive to gluten. Doesn't matter. You still probably shouldn't eat gluten. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest thing that I, I, I kind of have, I butt heads with my patients with sometimes because when I suggest it and if they end up getting some kind of a blood test and the doctor says, oh, your blood test shows you shouldn't, that you're, you can eat gluten, it's fine. That's what my Whole30 classes are all about. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll learn more about those in January. I'm gonna start doing some more, but really it's all about you, when you eat it every single day, you don't know what it's doing to your body. You don't know how much you feel like crap just because mm -hmm. you ate a sandwich mm -hmm. for lunch. Mm -hmm. hmm, I don't know why I, get, I crash and get tired right after I eat lunch. I eat a healthy turkey sandwich. Well, it, you know. Mm -hmm. So oh, what's the trip to fit in the turkey? Oh, oh yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> Same thing with the Thanksgiving meal when you eat the, it's the turkey that right. makes it's you the turkey that <laughs> made, not the stuffing or the potatoes or the other potatoes or. <laughs> Or the filling ball. Yeah, I the filling. Stuff stuff filling. Yeah, I love filling. filling. Yeah. But there, there, the there are the what I call in my in my one group that I'm doing right now. We're doing yoga, and we, I've been asking the participants to give me um, give me a traditional meal that you would have at Thanksgiving or Christmas, and I'll find a reimagined. I call it reimagined recipes, and then I share with them an alternate recipe. Um, that doesn't include all of that nasty stuff. Now, granted, we can't remake everything 100% the way it was, but I found a pumpkin pie recipe, and I love pumpkin pie, and pumpkin's very good for you without mm -hmm. adding all that other stuff. Um, but it, its crust was pecans and walnuts, and I'm like, I think I would even like that better <laughs> yeah. than regular crust. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try a different version of pumpkin pie. But yeah, you can get through the holidays with you can different foods that make you you know not feel like you're left out. It's just healthier, right? So, um, but yeah. So what, what I was getting to was if you ever are worried about what grains are doing to you, the easiest thing to do is cut them out mm -hmm. for at least three weeks, thirty days in the whole thirty. Right. Um, mm -hmm. But and then you add it back in and just watch, and I bet you you'll notice something bad happens. After you cut it out for three weeks mm -hmm. or more, you'll notice, hey, I don't want something yeah. feels better. Like you mm -hmm. won't have as many aches and pains, you'll have more energy, you'll and have headaches less, maybe, yeah. brain fog, mm -hmm. 
all sorts of things. Some of us have less brain fog, but that's another, that's a whole other show, and, and that's sleep. And then when you add them back in, you might yeah. say, oh look, it's back. It I really don't. is the, the And see, that's brain. what I did. I didn't, I didn't do the whole 30, 100% like Dr. Fawn did, but I did a very, I did a modified version of it for me. And when I started, that was that was really a sad day for me when I thought, oh, it's not grains. And I, I started eating, you know, my normal stuff. I'd have, you know, of course, when you enter it back in, you don't eat it at every meal. You eat it right for one serving, you know, like for one meal. And I instantly got the, the achy joints, and I'm like, oh, okay. She so I got hungry. She probably got crazy. So I don't eat it every day. Seriously, I maybe once a month, and maybe not even that. I just don't. And it's just about fine. I mean, a lot of people say that to me too. What do you eat? How do you, don't you starve? Like, I don't starve. No, no. You just you reimagine breakfast. Mm -hmm. Like breakfast for me sometimes is chicken and avocado. Like you you change the way that you think about your meals. It doesn't have to have right. a grain in it. Right. So um, I'm sorry, I don't remember who asked that question, but you just it's, Jerica, it's, yeah. a, it's a different way of you just you're not only changing your eating habits and what you eat, but you're mm -hmm. changing your daily habits and how you prepare and plan for your meals and your food. And it's doable, people. It's totally doable. Right. And I've had a lot of people say that even though their 30 days is, that their 30 days are up, they're like, I don't want to go back. I don't want to reintroduce. I feel so good. And so they don't. And they survived. Yeah. They survived. <laughs> it's not like um, it's something that's going to, I don't even know what I was going to say. Um, like a medic, well, I don't want to go to medication because I don't necessarily believe that we need all the medications that we have out there, but that's a whole other life. Right. So we have like three other lives. Well, I don't have anything else to, to share about grain. I think we kind of covered it all. I yeah. mean, unless you guys have more questions. If you have any other topics that you would like for us to discuss, I think we still have some more um, nutrition um, topics that we're going to do in the next few weeks and then circle around to some other maybe some emotional health things that we can we can, we can do like massage can help with that and meditation and I think we did we talk about meditation today? Yeah, we talked about affirmations and meditation. It was, yeah we did. We did. It's funny my my students the other day I was I was sharing with them we were we were talking about sequence of events and I was sharing with them like my daily routines and the first thing I had on was meditate and it was funny all of them did. They all sat on their chair not every single one of them but most of them crossed their legs and went mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, well, there are some people that meditate that way. Me, no, I'm just like. <laughs> I so promise anyway. we're pretty normal people. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we are totally normal, maybe. I don't know what normal is, but anyway. Yeah. So if you have any other topics that you would like for us to research and discuss with you guys, let us know. Send us a message. Drop it in here. Um, and if you're interested in uh, participating in Dr. Fawn's Whole30 uh, program in January, send her a message and get on the list. Um, and I just have one final thing I want to say that I, I don't know if everybody's aware. I know I posted, I'm really excited about, may I share oh. it? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I have this opportunity to do this beta test where I'm going to be following a totally different, not, it's not different for me, but for a lot of people, it's a high fat, low carb, um, nutrition plan with intermittent fasting. And I am like super, super excited about it because I've always wanted to kind of, I, well, I have been experimenting. So this is just a different experiment. She's so part of a bigger you, experiment. Yeah, if you are someone that might be interested in trying this out with me, it's for 12 weeks. It's pretty strict. It's like a medical trial, basically. It's for 12 weeks. But if you are interested in finding out more about it, drop your email below and I'll send you more information. All right? Okay. All right, guys. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you know of anybody that might be interested in learning a little bit more about why we should tame the grains, please, please do us a favor and share this this uh, broadcast with them because our one mission that we both seem to well you've adopted it because this is what you do every day but I've just found a new passion for it, is just helping uh, people become healthier and happier every single day yeah. All right. absolutely All right. thanks guys for tuning in we'll talk to you soon see ya Have bye a